In electromagnetism and electronics, inductance is the tendency of an electrical conductor to oppose a change in the electric current flowing through it. The flow of electric current through a conductor creates a magnetic field around the conductor, whose strength depends on the magnitude of the current. A change in current causes a change in the magnetic field. From Faraday's law of induction, any change in magnetic field through a circuit induces an electromotive force EMF in the conductors, this is known as electromagnetic induction. So the changing current induces a voltage in the conductor. This induced voltage is in a direction which tends to oppose the change in current as stated by Lenz's law, so it is called a back EMF. Inductance is defined as the ratio of the induced voltage to the rate of change of current causing it. It is a proportionality factor that depends on the geometry of circuit conductors and the magnetic permeability of nearby materials. An electronic component designed to add inductance to a circuit is called an inductor. It typically consists of a coil or helix of wire. The term inductance was coined by Oliver Heaviside in 1886. It is customary to use the symbol L display style L for inductance, in honor of the physicist Heinrich Lenz. In the SI system, the unit of inductance is the Henry H, which is the amount of inductance that causes a voltage of 1 volt, when the current is changing at a rate of 1 ampere per second. It is named for Joseph Henry, who discovered inductance independently of Faraday. Topic: History. The history of electromagnetic induction, a facet of electromagnetism, began with observations of the ancients, electric charge or static electricity rubbing silk on amber, electric current lightning, and magnetic attraction lodestone. Understanding the unity of these forces of nature, and the scientific theory of electromagnetism began in the late 18th century. Electromagnetic induction was first described by Michael Faraday in 1831. In Faraday's experiment, he wrapped two wires around opposite sides of an iron ring. He expected that, when current started to flow in one wire, a sort of wave would travel through the ring and cause some electrical effect on the opposite side. Using a galvanometer, he observed a transient current flow in the second coil of wire each time that a battery was connected or disconnected from the first coil. This current was induced by the change in magnetic flux that occurred when the battery was connected and disconnected. Faraday found several other manifestations of electromagnetic induction. For example, he saw transient currents when he quickly slid a bar magnet in and out of a coil of wires, and he generated a steady DC current by rotating a copper disc near the bar magnet with a sliding electrical lead. Faraday's disc. Topic: <laughs> Source of inductance. A current Display style I flowing through a conductor generates a magnetic field around the conductor, which is described by Ampere's circuital law. The total magnetic flux through a circuit phi display style phi is equal to the product of the perpendicular component, the magnetic field, and the area of the surface spanning the current path. If the current varies, the magnetic flux phi display style phi through the circuit changes by faraday's law of induction any change in flux through a circuit induces an electromotive force emf or voltage v display style v in the circuit proportional to the rate of change of flux v t equals minus d d t phi t display style v t equals frac text d text d t phi t 
the negative sign in the equation indicates that the induced voltage is in a direction which opposes the change in current that created it, this is called Lenz's law. The potential is therefore called a back EMF. If the current is increasing, the voltage is positive at the end of the conductor through which the current enters and negative at the end through which it leaves, tending to reduce the current. If the current is decreasing, the voltage is positive at the end through which the current leaves the conductor, tending to maintain the current. Self-inductance, usually just called inductance, L L is the ratio between the induced voltage and the rate of change of the current V T equals L D I D T 1 display style V T equals L frac text D I text D T Q quad Q quad Q quad 1 Thus, inductance is a property of a conductor or circuit, due to its magnetic field, which tends to oppose changes in current through the circuit. The unit of inductance in the SI system is the Henry H, named after American scientist Joseph Henry, which is the amount of inductance which generates a voltage of 1 volt when the current is changing at a rate of 1 ampere per second. All conductors have some inductance, which may have either desirable or detrimental effects in practical electrical devices. The inductance of a circuit depends on the geometry of the current path, and on the magnetic permeability of nearby materials. Ferromagnetic materials with a higher permeability like iron near a conductor tend to increase the magnetic field and inductance. Any alteration to a circuit which increases the flux total magnetic field through the circuit produced by a given current increases the inductance, because inductance is also equal to the ratio of magnetic flux to current L equals phi I I display style L equals phi I over I. An inductor is an electrical component consisting of a conductor shape to increase the magnetic flux, to add inductance to a circuit. Typically it consists of a wire wound into a coil or helix. A coiled wire has a higher inductance than a straight wire of the same length, because the magnetic field lines pass through the circuit multiple times, it has multiple flux linkages. The inductance is proportional to the square of the number of turns in the coil. The inductance of a coil can be increased by placing a magnetic core of ferromagnetic material in the hole in the center. The magnetic field of the coil magnetizes the material of the core, aligning its magnetic domains, and the magnetic field of the core adds to that of the coil, increasing the flux through the coil. This is called a ferromagnetic core inductor. A magnetic core can increase the inductance of a coil by thousands of times. If multiple electric circuits are located close to each other, the magnetic field of one can pass through the other, in this case the circuits are said to be inductively coupled. Due to Faraday's law of induction, a change in current in one circuit can cause a change in magnetic flux in another circuit and thus induce a voltage in another circuit. The concept of inductance can be generalized in this case by defining the mutual inductance M K display style M underscore K L of circuit K display style K and circuit display style L as the ratio of voltage induced in circuit display style L to the rate of change of current in circuit k display style k this is the principle behind a transformer the property describing the effect of one conductor on itself is more precisely called self inductance and the properties describing the effects of one conductor with changing current on nearby conductors is called mutual inductance Topic: Self-inductance and magnetic energy. 
If the current through a conductor with inductance is increasing, a voltage V T display style V T will be induced across the conductor with a polarity which opposes the current, as described above. This is in addition to any voltage drop caused by the conductor's resistance. The charges flowing through the circuit lose potential energy moving from the higher voltage to the lower voltage end. The energy from the external circuit required to overcome this potential hill is being stored in the increased magnetic field around the conductor. Therefore, any inductance with a current through it stores energy in its magnetic field. At any given time, T display style T the power P T display style P T flowing into the magnetic field, which is equal to the rate of change of the stored energy. U display style U is the product of the current I T display style I T and voltage V T display style V T across the conductor P T equals D U D T equals V T I T Display style P T equals frac text D U text D T equals V T I T from one above D U D T equals L I I D I D T display style frac text D U text D T equals L I I frac text D I text D T D U equals L I I D I display style text D U equals L I I text D I when there is no current there is no magnetic field and the stored energy is zero neglecting resistive losses the energy U display style U measured in joules in SI stored by an inductance with a current I display style I through it is equal to the amount of work required to establish the current through the inductance from zero, and therefore the magnetic field. This is given by U equals zero I L I I D I Display style u equals int underscore zero caret i l i i text d i. If the inductance l i display style l i is constant over the current range, the stored energy is u equals l zero i i D I display style u equals l int underscore zero caret i i text d i u equals one two l i two display style u equals t f r a c one two l i caret two so therefore inductance is also proportional to how much energy is stored in the magnetic field for a given current. This energy is stored as long as the current remains constant. 
If the current decreases, the magnetic field will decrease, inducing a voltage in the conductor in the opposite direction, negative at the end through which current enters and positive at the end through which it leaves. This will return stored magnetic energy to the external circuit. If ferromagnetic materials are located near the conductor, such as in an inductor with a magnetic core, the constant inductance equation above is only valid for linear regions of the magnetic flux, at currents below the level at which the ferromagnetic material saturates, where the inductance is approximately constant. If the magnetic field in the inductor approaches the level at which the core saturates, the inductance will begin to change with current, and the integral equation must be used. <inaudible> Inductive reactants When a sinusoidal alternating current AC is passing through a linear inductance, the induced back EMF will also be sinusoidal. If the current through the inductance is I T equals I peak sin omega T Display style i t equals i underscore text peak sin left omega t right. From one above the voltage across it will be v t equals l d i d t equals l d d T I peak sin omega T equals omega L I peak cos Omega T equals Omega L I peak sin Omega T plus pi two display style begin aligned V T and equals L frac text D I text D T equals L frac text D text D T left I underscore text peak sin left Omega T right right and equals Omega L I underscore text peak cos left Omega T right equals Omega L I underscore text Peak sin left omega t plus pi over two right end aligned where i peak display style i underscore text peak is the amplitude peak value of the sinusoidal current in amperes omega equals two pi f display style omega equals two pi f is the angular frequency of the alternating current with f display style f being its frequency in hertz and l display style l is the inductance. Thus the amplitude peak value of the voltage across the inductance will be Vp equals omega Lip equals 2 pi F Lip display style V underscore P equals omega L I underscore P equals 2 pi F L I underscore P inductive reactance is the opposition of an inductor to an alternating current. It is defined analogously to electrical resistance in a resistor, as the ratio of the amplitude peak value of the alternating voltage to current in the component x L equals V P I P equals 2 pi F L Display style x underscore l equals frac v underscore p i underscore p equals two pi f l. Reactance has units of ohms. It can be seen that inductive reactance of an inductor increases proportionally with frequency f. Display style f. So an inductor conducts less current for a given applied AC voltage as the frequency increases. Because the induced voltage is greatest when the current is increasing, the voltage and current waveforms are out of phase, the voltage peaks occur earlier in each cycle than the current peaks. The phase difference between the current and the induced voltage is phi equals 
1 2 pi display style phi equals t f r a c 1 2 pi radians are 90 degrees showing that in an ideal inductor the current lags the voltage by 90 degrees topic calculating inductance In the most general case, inductance can be calculated from Maxwell's equations. Many important cases can be solved using simplifications. Where high frequency currents are considered, with skin effect, the surface current densities and magnetic field may be obtained by solving the Laplace equation. Where the conductors are thin wires, self-inductance still depends on the wire radius and the distribution of the current in the wire. This current distribution is approximately constant on the surface or in the volume of the wire for a wire radius much smaller than other length scales. Topic: <inaudible> Inductance of a straight single wire. As a practical matter, longer wires have more inductance, and thicker wires have less, analogous to their electrical resistance although the relationships aren't linear, and are different in kind from the relationships that length and diameter bear to resistance. Separating the wire from the other parts of the circuit introduces some unavoidable error in any formula's results. These inductances are often referred to as partial inductances, in part to encourage consideration of the other contributions to whole circuit inductance which are omitted. Topic. Complications of ambiguous definition As an essential component of coils and circuits, understanding what the inductance of a wire is, is essential. Yet, there is no simple, unambiguous definition of the inductance of a wire. The reasons are both practical and epistemological. There are practical difficulties in measuring wire inductance. A short straight segment of single conductor wire has some inductance, which in our ordinary experience is intangible because it is so small that it is effectively undetectable, it is too small to be readily be measured at low frequencies, and at high frequencies becomes entangled with the inductance of the wires of any meter connected to measure it. A long straight wire like an electric transmission line hundreds of kilometers long has substantial inductance, and there is no problem at all measuring it. Difficulties with epistemology also trouble the calculations, there is no unambiguous definition of the inductance of a straight wire. If we consider the wire in isolation we ignore the question of how the current gets into the wire. That current will affect the flux which is developed in the vicinity of the wire. But this flux should also be a part of the definition. A consequence of Maxwell's equations is that we cannot define the inductance of only a portion of a circuit, we can only define the inductance of a whole circuit, which includes how the current gets to the wire and how it returns to the source. The magnetic flux incident to the whole circuit determines the inductance of the circuit and of any part of it. The magnetic flux is an indivisible entity, yet we wish to consider only a part of it, the part incident to the wire, between whatever we define to be the ends of the wire. Topic. Practical formulas For derivation of the formulas below, see Rosa 1908. The total low frequency inductance interior plus exterior of a straight wire is L DC equals 0 0.2 micro h m lane 2 r minus 0 0.75 Display style L underscore text DC equals zero point two TFRAC text micro H text M CDOT L CDOT left lane left frac two L R right minus zero point seven five right 
where L D C display style L underscore text D C is the low frequency or DC inductance in microhenries micro H or 10 minus 6 H display style L is the length of the wire in meters R display style R is the radius of the wire in meters hence a very small decimal number the constant 0 0.2 micro H M display style 0.2 tfrac text micro h text m is the permeability of free space commonly called mu o display style mu underscore text o divided by 2 pi display style 2 pi in the absence of magnetically reactive insulation the value 0.2 is exact, the constant 0. 0.75 is just one parameter value among several, different frequency ranges, different shapes, or extremely long wire lengths require a slightly different constant see below. This result is based on the assumption that the radius r display style r is much less than the length display style l which is the common case for wires and rods disks or thick cylinders have slightly different formulas for sufficiently high frequencies skin effects cause the interior currents to vanish leaving only the currents on the surface of the conductor the inductance for alternating current l ac Display style L underscore text AC is then given by a very similar formula L AC equals zero point two micro H M lane two R minus one point zero zero Display style L underscore text AC equals zero point two TFRAC text micro H text M C D O T L C D O T left lane left frac two L R right minus one point zero zero right where the variables Display style L and R Display style R are the same as above. Note the changed constant term now 1.00, formerly 0 0.75. In an example from everyday experience, just one of the conductors of a lamp cord 10 meters long, made of 18 gauge wire, would only have an inductance of about 19 micro henries if stretched out straight. Topic. Mutual inductance of two parallel straight wires There are two cases to consider Current travels in the same direction in each wire, and Current travels in opposing directions in the wires. Currents in the wires need not be equal, though they often are, as in the case of a complete circuit, where one wire is the source and the other the return. Topic. Mutual inductance of two wire loops This is the generalized case of the paradigmatic two-loop cylindrical coil carrying a uniform low-frequency current. The loops are independent closed circuits that can have different lengths, any orientation in space, and carry different currents. Nonetheless, the error terms, which are not included in the integral will only be small if the geometries of the loops are mostly smooth and convex, they do not have too many kinks, sharp corners, coils, crossovers, parallel segments, concave cavities or other topological close deformations. 
a necessary predicate for the reduction of the three-dimensional manifold integration formula to a double curve integral is that the current paths be filamentary circuits, i.e. thin wires where the radius of the wire is negligible compared to its length. The mutual inductance by a filamentary circuit M M on a filamentary circuit N display style n is given by the double integral newman formula l m n equals mu 0 4 pi c m c n d x m D X N X M minus X N Display style L underscore M N equals frac mu underscore zero four pi point underscore C underscore M point underscore C underscore N frac mathem D Math BF X underscore M C D O T Mathem D Math BF X underscore N Math BF X underscore M Math BF X underscore N where C M display style C underscore M and C N display style C underscore N are the curves followed by the wires mu zero display style mu underscore zero is the permeability of free space 4 pi times 10 minus 7 h per meter d x m display style mathrm d math bf x underscore m is a small increment of the wire in circuit cm x m display style math bf x underscore m is the position of d x m display style d math bf x underscore m in space d x n display style mathrm d math bf x underscore n is a small increment of the wire in circuit c n x N display style math bf x underscore n is the position of d x n display style d math bf x underscore n in space. Topic derivation m I J equals D E F Phi I J I J Display style M underscore I J Stackrel Mathem Def equals frac Phi underscore I J I underscore J where Phi I J display style Phi underscore I J is the magnetic flux through the ith surface due to the electrical circuit outlined by C J display style C underscore J I J display style I underscore J is the current through the J display style J th wire this current creates the magnetic flux Phi I J display style Phi underscore I J through the I 
Display style i th surface phi i j equals s i b j d a equals s i times a j d a equals c i a j d s i equals c i mu 0 i j 4 pi c j d s j s i minus s j d s i Display style phi underscore i j equals int underscore s underscore i math b f b underscore j c d o t mathrm d math b f o equals int underscore s underscore i nabla times math b f o underscore j c d o t mathrm d math b f o equals oint underscore c underscore i math b f o underscore j c d o t math Therm D Math BF S underscore I equals oint underscore C underscore I left frac mu underscore zero I underscore J four pi oint underscore C underscore J frac Mathem D Math BF S underscore J left Math BF S underscore I Math BF S underscore J right right C D O T Mathem D Math BF S underscore I where C I display style C underscore I is the curve enclosing surface S I display style S underscore I and S I display style s underscore i is any arbitrary orientable area with edge c i display style c underscore i b j display style math bf b underscore j is the magnetic field vector due to the j display style j th current of circuit c j display style c underscore j a j display style math bf underscore j is the vector potential due to the j display style j Th current Stokes theorem has been used for the third equality step. For the last equality step, we use the retarded potential expression for a j display style a underscore j, and we ignore the effect of the retarded time, assuming the geometry of the circuits is small enough compared to the wavelength of the current they carry. It is actually an approximation step, and is valid only for local circuits made of thin wires. <laughs> Self-inductance of a wire loop Formally, the self-inductance of a wire loop would be given by the above equation with m n display style n however here 1 x minus x display style 1 math bf x math bf x 
becomes infinite, leading to a logarithmically divergent integral. This necessitates taking the finite wire radius a display style a and the distribution of the current in the wire into account. There remains the contribution from the integral over all points and a correction term L equals mu 0 4 pi C C D X D X X minus X plus mu 0 4 pi y plus o 4 s minus s v greater than 1 2 Display style L equals frac mu underscore zero four pi left oint underscore C oint underscore C frac D Math BF X C D O T Mathem D Math BF X Math BF X Math BF X right plus frac mu underscore zero four pi L Y plus O quad text for left Math BF S Math BF S right V greater than T F R a C one two O where S display style math BF S and S display style math BF S are distances along the curves C display style C and C display style C respectively Display style A is the radius of the wire. Display style L is the length of the wire. Y display style Y is a constant that depends on the distribution of the current in the wire. Y equals zero. Display style Y equals zero. When the current flows on the surface of the wire, total skin effect y equals 1 2 display style y equals tfrac 1 2 when the current is evenly over the cross section of the wire o display style o is an error term o mu Zero. O. Display style o mu underscore zero o. When the loop has sharp corners and o mu zero o two. Display style o left mu underscore zero a caret two l right. When it is a smooth curve. These are small when the wire is long compared to its radius. Topic: Inductance of a solenoid. A solenoid is a long thin coil, i.e., a coil whose length is much greater than its diameter. Under these conditions and without any magnetic material used, the magnetic flux density B display style b within the coil is practically constant and is given by b equals mu 0 n i display style display style b equals frac mu underscore 0 n i l where mu 0 Display style mu underscore zero is the magnetic constant n. Display style n. The number of turns i. Display style i. 
the current and L display style L the length of the coil ignoring end effects the total magnetic flux through the coil is obtained by multiplying the flux density B display style B by the cross section area a display style a phi equals mu 0 n i a display style display style phi equals frac mu underscore 0 n i a l when this is combined with the definition of inductance L equals N Phi I display style display style L equals frac N Phi I it follows that the inductance of a solenoid is given by L equals mu 0 N 2 a L Display style display style L equals frac mu underscore zero n carrot two a L. Therefore, for air core coils, inductance is a function of coil geometry and number of turns, and is independent of current. Topic: Inductance of a coaxial cable. Let the inner conductor have radius R I display style R underscore I and permeability mu I display style mu underscore I. Let the dielectric between the inner and outer conductor have permeability mu D display style mu underscore D and let the outer conductor have inner radius r o 1 display style r underscore o 1 outer radius r o 2 display style r underscore o 2 and permeability mu 0 Display style mu underscore zero. However, for a typical coaxial line application, we are interested in passing non-DC signals at frequencies for which the resistive skin effect cannot be neglected. In most cases, the inner and outer conductor terms are negligible, in which case one may approximate L equals D L d approximately equals mu d 2 pi lane r o 1 r i Display style L equals frac text D L text D L quad approximately quad frac mu underscore D two pi lane frac R underscore O one R underscore I Topic Inductance of multilayer coils Most practical air core inductors are multilayer cylindrical coils with square cross sections to minimize average distance between turns. Circular cross sections would be better but harder to form. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Magnetic cores. Many inductors include a magnetic core at the center of or partly surrounding the winding. Over a large enough range these exhibit a nonlinear permeability with effects such as magnetic saturation. Saturation makes the resulting inductance a function of the applied current. The secant or large signal inductance is used in flux calculations. It is defined as L S I equals 
d e f n phi i equals lambda i display style l underscore s i over set under set mathrm def equals frac n phi i equals frac lambda i the differential or small signal inductance on the other hand is used in calculating voltage it is defined as l d i equals d e f d n phi d i equals d lambda d i Display style L underscore D I over set under set mathem def equals frac text D N phi text D I equals frac text D lambda text D I. The circuit voltage for a nonlinear inductor is obtained via the differential inductance as shown by Faraday's law and the chain rule of calculus. V T equals D lambda D T equals D lambda D I D I D T equals L D I D I D T display style V T equals frac text D lambda text D T equals frac text D lambda text D I frac text D I text D T equals L underscore D I frac text D I text D T Similar definitions may be derived for nonlinear mutual inductance. Topic: Mutual inductance. Topic: Derivation of mutual inductance. The inductance equations above are a consequence of Maxwell's equations. For the important case of electrical circuits consisting of thin wires, the derivation is straightforward. In a system of K display style K wire loops each with one or several wire turns the flux linkage of loop M display style M lambda M display style lambda underscore M is given by lambda M equals N M phi M equals N equals one K L M N I N Display style display style lambda underscore m equals n underscore m phi underscore m equals sum limits underscore n equals one carrot k l underscore m n i underscore n. Here n m display style n underscore m denotes the number of turns in loop m. Display style m phi m display style phi underscore m is the magnetic flux through loop m display style m and l m n display style l underscore m n are some constants described below. 
This equation follows from Ampere's law, magnetic fields and fluxes are linear functions of the currents. By Faraday's law of induction, we have V M equals D lambda M D T equals N M D phi M D T equals N equals one K L M N D I N D T Display style display style v underscore m equals frac text d lambda underscore m text d t equals n underscore m frac text d phi underscore m text d t equals sum limits underscore n equals one caret k l underscore m n frac text d i underscore n text d t where v m Display style v underscore m denotes the voltage induced in circuit m. Display style m. This agrees with the definition of inductance above if the coefficients l m n display style l underscore m n are identified with the coefficients of inductance because the total currents N N I N display style N underscore N I underscore N contribute to phi M display style phi underscore M. It also follows that L M N display style L underscore M N is proportional to the product of turns n m n n display style n underscore m n underscore n topic mutual inductance and magnetic field energy Multiplying the equation for Vm above with Im dt and summing over m gives the energy transferred to the system in the time interval dt m k i m v m d t equals m n equals 1 K I M L M N D I N equals N equals one K W I I N D I N Display style display style sum limits underscore M carrot K I underscore M V underscore M text D T equals sum limits underscore M N equals one carrot K I underscore M L underscore M N text D I underscore N over set equals sum limits underscore N equals one carrot K frac partial W left I right partial I underscore N text D I underscore N. This must agree with the change of the magnetic field energy W caused by the currents. The integrability condition two W I M I N equals two W I N 
I M display style display style frac partial caret 2 w partial i underscore m partial i underscore n equals frac partial caret 2 w partial i underscore n partial i underscore m requires lm north equals lane m the inductance matrix lm n thus is symmetric the integral of the energy transfer is the magnetic field energy as a function of the currents W I equals 1 2 M N equals 1 K I M L M N I N Display style display style W left I right equals frac one two sum limits underscore M N equals one carrot K I underscore M L underscore M N I underscore N This equation also is a direct consequence of the linearity of Maxwell's equations. It is helpful to associate changing electric currents with a buildup or decrease of magnetic field energy. The corresponding energy transfer requires or generates a voltage. A mechanical analogy in the K equals 1 case with magnetic field energy 1 half Li 2 is a body with mass m, velocity u and kinetic energy 1 half mu 2. The rate of change of velocity current multiplied with mass inductance requires or generates a force an electrical voltage. Mutual inductance occurs when the change in current in one inductor induces a voltage in another nearby inductor. It is important as the mechanism by which transformers work, but it can also cause unwanted coupling between conductors in a circuit. The mutual inductance m I J display style M underscore I J is also a measure of the coupling between two inductors. The mutual inductance by circuit I display style I on circuit J display style J is given by the double integral Newman formula. See calculation techniques. The mutual inductance also has the relationship m twenty one equals n one n two p twenty one display style m underscore twenty one equals n underscore one n underscore two p underscore twenty one where M twenty one display style M underscore twenty one is the mutual inductance, and the subscript specifies the relationship of the voltage induced in coil two due to the current in coil one. N one display style N underscore one is the number of turns in coil one. N Two. Display style n underscore two is the number of turns in coil two. P twenty one. Display style p underscore twenty one is the permeance of the space occupied by the flux. Once the mutual inductance m display style m is determined it can be used to predict the behavior of a circuit v 1 equals l 1 d i 1 d t minus m d i 2 d T 
Display style v underscore one equals l underscore one frac text d i underscore one text d t m frac text d i underscore two text d t where v one display style v underscore one is the voltage across the inductor of interest l one display style l underscore one is the inductance of the inductor of interest d i one d t display style text d i underscore one text d t is the derivative with respect to time of the current through the inductor of interest labeled one d I two D T display style text D I underscore two text D T is the derivative with respect to time of the current through the inductor labeled two that is coupled to the first inductor and M display style M is the mutual inductance the minus sign arises because of the sense the current Two display style i underscore two has been defined in the diagram with both currents defined going into the dots the sign of m display style m will be positive the equation would read with a plus sign instead topic coupling coefficient. The coupling coefficient is the ratio of the open circuit actual voltage ratio to the ratio that would obtain if all the flux coupled from one circuit to the other. The coupling coefficient is related to mutual inductance and self-inductances in the following way. From the two simultaneous equations expressed in the two-port matrix the open circuit voltage ratio is found to be V 2 V one open circuit equals M L one display style V underscore two over V underscore one text open circuit equals M over L underscore one while the ratio if all the flux is coupled is the ratio of the turns, hence the ratio of the square root of the inductances. V two V one max coupled equals L two L one Display style V underscore two over V underscore one text max coupled equals SQRT L underscore two over L underscore one Thus M equals K L one L two display style M equals K SQRT L underscore one L underscore two where K display style K is the coupling coefficient L one display style L underscore one is the inductance of the first coil and L two display style L underscore two is the inductance of the second coil. The coupling coefficient is a convenient way to specify the relationship between a certain orientation of inductance inductors with arbitrary inductance most authors define the range as 0k1 display style 0 leqk but some define it as minus 1k1 display style minus 1 allowing negative values of k display style k captures phase inversions of the coil connections and the direction of the windings topic <laughs> matrix representation Mutually coupled inductors can be described by any of the two-port network parameter matrix representations. The most direct are the Z parameters, which are given by Z equals S L 
1 m m l 2 Display style Math BF Z equals S begin B matrix L underscore one M M L underscore two end B matrix where S Display style S is the complex frequency variable L one Display style L underscore one and L Two display style l underscore two are the inductances of the primary and secondary coil, respectively, and m display style m is the mutual inductance between the coils. Topic: Equivalent circuits. Topic T circuit. Mutually coupled inductors can equivalently be represented by a T circuit of inductors as shown. If the coupling is strong and the inductors are of unequal values, then the series inductor on the step down side may take on a negative value. This can be analyzed as a two port network. With the output terminated with some arbitrary impedance, Z display style Z the voltage gain a V display style a underscore V is given by a V equals s M Z s 2 L 1 L two minus S two M two plus S L one Z equals K S one minus K two L one L two Z plus L one L two Display style underscore mathem V equals frac SMZ S carrot two L underscore one L underscore two S carrot two M carrot two plus S L underscore one Z equals frac K S left one K carrot two right frac S Q R T L underscore one L underscore two Z plus S Q R T frac L underscore one L underscore two where k display style k is the coupling constant and s display style s is the complex frequency variable as above for tightly coupled inductors where k equals 1 display style k equals 1 this reduces to a V equals L two L one Display style a underscore mathem V equals SQRT L underscore two over L underscore one which is independent of the load impedance. If the inductors are wound on the same core and with the same geometry, then this expression is equal to the turns ratio of the two inductors because inductance is proportional to the square of turns ratio. The input impedance of the network is given by Z I N equals S 2 L 1 L two minus S 
2 m 2 plus s l 1 z s l 2 plus z equals l 1 l 2 z 1 1 plus z s l 2 1 plus 1 minus k 2 z s l 2 Display style z underscore mathrm in equals frac s caret two l underscore one l underscore two s caret two m caret two plus s l underscore one z s l underscore two plus z equals frac l underscore one l underscore two z biggle frac one one plus left frac z s l underscore two right bigger biggle one plus frac left one K carrot two right left frac Z S L underscore two right bigger four K equals one Display style K equals one This reduces to Z I N equals S L one Z S L two plus Z equals L one L two Z one one plus Z S L Two Display style Z underscore Mathem in equals frac S L underscore one Z S L underscore two plus Z equals frac L underscore one L underscore two Z Biggle frac one one plus left frac Z S L underscore two right bigger Thus the current gain A I Display style a underscore i is not independent of load unless the further condition s l two z display style s l underscore two g g z is met, in which case z i n approximately equals L one L two Z Display style Z underscore mathem in approximately L underscore one over L underscore two Z and A I approximately equals L one L two equals 1 a v display style a underscore mathrm i approximately sqrt l underscore 1 over l underscore 2 equals 1 over a underscore mathrm v topic pi circuit Alternatively, two coupled inductors can be modeled using a pi equivalent circuit with optional ideal transformers at each port. While the circuit is more complicated than a T circuit, it can be generalized to circuits consisting of more than two coupled inductors. Equivalent circuit elements L S display style L underscore text S L P Display style L underscore text P 
have physical meaning, modeling respectively magnetic reluctances of coupling paths and magnetic reluctances of leakage paths. For example, electric currents flowing through these elements correspond to coupling and leakage magnetic fluxes. Ideal transformers normalize all self-inductances to one Henry to simplify mathematical formulas. Equivalent circuit element values can be calculated from coupling coefficients with L S I J equals debt K minus C I J Display style L underscore S underscore I J equals D F R A C debt Math B F K Math B F C underscore I J L P I equals debt K J equals one N C I J Display style L underscore P underscore I equals D F R A C debt Math B F K sum underscore J equals one carrot N Math B F C underscore I J Where coupling coefficient matrix and its cofactors are defined as K equals one K twelve K one N K twelve one K two N K one N K two N one Display style Math BF K equals begin B matrix one and K underscore twelve and C dots and K underscore one N K underscore twelve and one and C dots and K underscore two N V dots and V dots and D dots and V dots K underscore one N and K underscore two N and C dots and one end B matrix Quad and C I J equals minus one I plus J M I J display style quad math B F C underscore I J equals minus one carrot I plus J math B F M underscore I J for two coupled inductors these formulas simplify to L S twelve equals minus K twelve two plus one K twelve Display style L underscore S underscore twelve equals D F R A C K underscore twelve carrot two plus one K underscore twelve quad and L P one equals L P two equals K twelve plus one Display style quad L underscore P underscore one equals L underscore P underscore two equals K underscore twelve plus one and for three coupled inductors for brevity shown only for L S12 display style L underscore text S12 and L P1 display style E L underscore text P1 L S12 equals 2 K 12 K 13 K 23 minus K 12 2 minus K 13 2 minus K 23 2 plus 1 K 13 K 23 minus K 
k 12 display style el underscore s underscore 12 equals frac 2 k underscore 12 k underscore 13 k underscore 23 k underscore 12 carrot 2 k underscore 13 carrot 2 k underscore 23 carrot 2 plus 1 k underscore 13 k underscore 23 k underscore 12 quad and l P one equals two K twelve K thirteen K twenty three minus K twelve two minus K thirteen two minus k 23 2 plus 1 k 12 k 23 plus k 13 k 23 minus k 23 2 minus k 12 minus k 13 plus 1 Display style quad L underscore P underscore one equals frac two K underscore twelve K underscore thirteen K underscore twenty three K underscore twelve carrot two K underscore thirteen carrot two K underscore twenty three carrot two plus one K underscore twelve K underscore twenty three plus K underscore thirteen K underscore twenty three K underscore twenty 3 carrot 2 k underscore 12 k underscore 13 plus 1 topic resonant transformer when a capacitor is connected across one winding of a transformer making the winding a tuned circuit resonant circuit it is called a single tuned transformer when a capacitor is connected across each winding, it is called a double-tuned transformer. These resonant transformers can store oscillating electrical energy similar to a resonant circuit and thus function as a bandpass filter, allowing frequencies near their resonant frequency to pass from the primary to secondary winding, but blocking other frequencies. The amount of mutual inductance between the two windings, together with the Q factor of the circuit, determine the shape of the frequency response curve. The advantage of the double-tuned transformer is that it can have a narrower bandwidth than a simple-tuned circuit. The coupling of double-tuned circuits is described as loose, critical, or overcoupled depending on the value of the coupling coefficient. K K when two tuned circuits are loosely coupled through mutual inductance, the bandwidth will be narrow. As the amount of mutual inductance increases, the bandwidth continues to grow. When the mutual inductance is increased beyond the critical coupling, the peak in the frequency response curve splits into two peaks, and as the coupling is increased the two peaks move further apart. This is known as overcoupling. Topic. Ideal transformers When k equals 1 display style k equals 1 the inductor is referred to as being closely coupled. If in addition, the self-inductances go to infinity, the inductor becomes an ideal transformer. In this case the voltages, currents, and number of turns can be related in the following way. V S equals N S N P V P 
display style v underscore text s equals frac and underscore text s and underscore text p v underscore text p where v s display style v underscore text s is the voltage across the secondary inductor v p display style v underscore text p is the voltage across the primary inductor the one connected to a power source n s display style n underscore text s is the number of turns in the secondary inductor and n p display style n underscore text p is the number of turns in the primary inductor conversely the current i s equals n p n s i P display style i underscore text s equals frac and underscore text p and underscore text s i underscore text p where i s display style i underscore text s is the current through the secondary inductor i p display style i underscore text p is the current through the primary inductor the one connected to a power source n s display style n underscore text s is the number of turns in the secondary inductor and n p display style n underscore text p is the number of turns in the primary inductor, the power through one inductor is the same as the power through the other. These equations neglect any forcing by current sources or voltage sources. <laughs> Self-inductance of thin wire shapes The table below lists formulas for the self-inductance of various simple shapes made of thin cylindrical conductors wires. In general these are only accurate if the wire radius a, a is much smaller than the dimensions of the shape, and if no ferromagnetic materials are nearby no magnetic core. The symbol mu 0 display style mu underscore zero denotes the magnetic permeability of free space which in SI units is 0 0.4 pi micro Henry's meter display style 0 0.4 pi tfrac text micro Henry's text meter exactly why Display style y is an approximately constant value between 0 and 1 that depends on the distribution of the current in the wire. Y equals 0. Display style y equals 0. When the current flows only on the surface of the wire, complete skin effect. Y equals 1. Display style y equals 1. When the current is evenly spread over the cross section of the wire, direct current. For round wires, Rosa 1908 gives a formula equivalent to y approximately equals 1 1 plus a 1 8 mu sigma omega display style y approximately frac 1 1 plus a sqrt tfrac 1 8 mu sigma omega where omega equals 2 pi f 
display style omega equals 2 pi f is the angular frequency in radians per second mu equals mu 0 mu r display style mu equals mu underscore 0 mu underscore text r is the net magnetic permeability of the wire sigma display style sigma is the wire's specific conductivity and a display style a is the wire radius o x display style o x is represents small terms that have been dropped from the formula to make it simpler read the symbol plus o x display style plus o x as plus small corrections on the order of x display style x see also big o notation topic see also electromagnetic induction gyrator hydraulic analogy leakage inductance lc circuit rlc circuit rl circuit kinetic inductance equals equals footnotes <laughs>